Welcome to Soundbite. I'm your host, Jennifer Chandler, and I'm here with Jimmy Stovall, the owner of Corky's Barbecue. This week, we'll talk about Corky's Barbecue, and I want to let you in on a secret. It's more than just the restaurants, and QVC is a key ingredient. Soundbites is the Daily Memphian's weekly food, drink, and dining podcast. You can tune in on WYXR Radio every Thursday at 11 a.m., or listen wherever you get your podcast, iTunes, or Spotify, or listen at DailyMemphian.com. If you are listening on WYXR, up next you can listen to Sidebar with Eric Barnes. This week he's interviewing Mia Henley with Creative Aging. But let's get started talking all about Corky's Barbecue and QVC. Jimmy, thank you for being here on Sound Bites with us and letting us meet in your offices here. Absolutely. Right next to the original Corky's That's Barbecue. That's right. Opened in 1984. Is- We're celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. Yeah. Very excited about it. And if people didn't know that the original is the one that is on Poplar Avenue in East Memphis, kind of closest to White Station. That's right. And it's been here for 40 years. 40 years. years. Yeah. It's one of the first places... First barbecue places I ate at, my grandparents took me, I think I was about in sixth grade, <laughs> and uh, no idea that years and years later um, I would be involved with Corky. So, Do I dare ask um, how long you've been involved with Corky's? Uh, it's, yes. It's, um, yes. I, I kind of know a little of this you history. Can. It's been a minute. It has. So I started in 1994. So this is my 30th year. Um I started in the drive-thru for five twenty-five an hour in 1994. So, That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. And now you are the, um, what is your official title? I guess owner, CEO. Owner. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you bought this in what year? It's 21. 21? Yeah, yeah. So I've had an awesome uh, career at Corky's and uh, I've had incredible opportunities, just like you said in the beginning, outside the four walls of the restaurant. Uh, including the restaurants. And so I've worked in all aspects of our businesses and very, very fortunate. So remind me um, and remind everybody listening. So we obviously were here at the original Corky's on Poplar Avenue in East Memphis, but where are the other locations here in town? So we have uh, four uh, area locations. We have one in Cordova on Germantown Parkway, one in Collierville on West Poplar, and then we have one in Olive Branch. And then there are four franchises, Little Rock, two in Little Rock, one in Brentwood, and one in Pigeon Forge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So kind of spread all out. That's right. You know, it's one of those things. So you can think that you can get your barbecue here in the state of Tennessee and in Arkansas. But secret, if anyone doesn't know this, I'm assuming everyone knows this, but if they don't know this, you can get it nationwide. That's right. That's right. We've shipped, we, you know, we started shipping food um, probably before, now everyone ships food. You know, it's not a big thing, but back when we started, uh, no one shipped food. And because we were right here with um, Federal Express, uh, we, you know, worked with them and got coolers and dry ice. And that's how we kind of started in that business. Yeah. So we've been shipping for years and years. And you ship a lot through a um, network that's called right. the QVC. That's <laughs> right. And you can see it playing in my office 24-7. <laughs> yeah. I, when I was in the restaurants, um, managing the restaurants um, years ago, I think it was around 2001, I got the opportunity to go to QVC, the shopping channel, and you know, feature our uh, ribs. And so back then, there really wasn't a huge food category at QVC. It was more regional cuisines that they would feature every now and then. Um, Now it's an enormous part of the business at QVC, the food category. But um, yeah, back then in 2001, it was like a one-shot deal, kind of, you know, a one-off. And um, when I went... our, the training program at the time was on a fax machine. They would roll fax. They sent me fax. Well, that uh, was actually, I was going to ask you that question because yeah. I had the, I was very honored to yes. go on QVC with one of my cookbooks. Yep. And um, I had to go up there and, and take a t- training class yep. and pass a test. And it was not something sent over a piece of paper on no. a fax. It was like a, it was a serious thing. I forget if it lasted a day. It two does. Days. Yeah, it I is. mean, it was it was a yeah, lot. That's right. That's um, right. And it was well in advance. And you know, then you went home, and then months later, you went back. <laughs> that's and, right. To learn that you had passed the right, test. So, right. um, so you guys, I guess, got in right before we they did. became we so did. serious about yes, that. Yes, fortunately. Um, yeah, we just got a fax thing, and I started watching it. And again, I was just from the restaurant side, and um, that's all I had done. And when I got the opportunity to go, I just started watching it constantly. And I was sort of fascinated by it. And when I went up there, we did well that very first time. 
And I thought this could really be, turn into something because I loved being able to tell the story of Corky's to people all over the country. And that's what really uh, excited me about working with QVC is there's no other place that you can not only demonstrate the product, but you can tell the story behind it, which is really why you buy anything is the story behind it. You get to share it with your friends and family. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things when people talk about food, food is so not, it's not just what's on your plate, but what makes a meal really special is the memories. It really is. And when you tie in stories and memories, it, a dish actually starts to taste better. It does. When you know that somebody, you know, there's some loving story of a a grandma making it or a family run business That's is this right. one starting at one yeah. location and growing and putting Memphis barbecue on um, the culinary map of right. the United States. I love that. Yeah. It, it and I, when I I love the um, instant gratification of it. You know, <laughs> that word, I don't know if I knew that at the time, but really that's what it is. You you know immediately how well you're doing, what the customers are responding to. If you're talking about something that they're really liking and they're ordering the, the food, then you can keep on that instead of veering off into a different subject that they might not be interested in. So it's, it, they're, they're able to steer the sale, the, the presentation in real time, and there is nothing else like that. That's pretty crazy. Yes. That's, so do you have like, is there a do you Producer, have an earpiece yeah, in your earpiece, ear? Earpiece, I mean, is microphone. somebody telling you, oh, wait, keep talking about that. Sales are going up. <laughs> that's People right. Are, I mean, is that really, that's all happening? Yeah. So if I'm, let's say I'm presenting two different sauce flavors and one of them is honey and one of them is original and the customers are really reacting to the honey and the producers will jump in my ear and say, hey, let's stay on the honey. You're getting a spike in calls on the honey. And so it's a way to really give the customers what they're wanting right then um, instead of trying to, you know, talk about or sell another something that they maybe not be as interested in. You had something really exciting happen at Corky's yep. this week That's with right. QVC. That's right. Um, I've been at QVC 23, 24 years and QVC brought their remote team and a program host, Rick Domeyer, uh, to Corky's in Memphis on Poplar to help us celebrate our 40th anniversary. We had about five shows and um, customers were in there and saw it and watched it and had a blast. That's awesome. Well, now any of those rerun that somebody can see them at, at other times or is QVC, are they always live? It's always live, uh, which, is, which is really the magic of QVC. It allows you to tell the story. It allows, um, you know, for you to read and react what the customers are are enjoying in the moment. So it, it is live. Uh, they do post everything on YouTube afterwards, so you can always search Corky's and QVC on YouTube and, and find all the airings for years and years. <laughs> yeah. Over and over again. Yeah. One of the things I'd love to know, so obviously when you started way back when yeah. um, on QVC, it was the ribs. Yeah. Was it dry or wet or wet. both? <laughs> We've done dry maybe a few times back when... Um, the low carb craze was happening and, and the dry ribs, truly it's the wet ribs. Um, people all over the country know they're, they're familiar with ribs with barbecue sauce dripping off and getting messy and, um, and getting all over your face. And so that's really what works on television. The dry, it, it doesn't, it doesn't shine. It doesn't look fantastic on TV, even though I love dry ribs. Um, the the wet looks better. So that is that is how it started, all with the ribs. And then what was the next thing added? Yeah, probably pulled pork, uh, you know, in different, you know, one pound or two pound um, with the original sauce. That kind of how, that's kind of how it started. And then we would start, we've started doing things for QVC that we had never done at the restaurant. We would come up with a different sauce that, um, would complement the barbecue or uh, we would cut the ribs and cut them into smaller portions and individually package them. And so we do a lot of special um, things for QVC only. So it's the same story, the same cooking process, same authentic barbecue, but sort of with a twist with a different sauce or a different seasoning that we don't do in the restaurant. So it makes, it makes the food for QVC special. Oh, that's interesting. And you do guys do a lot of stuff like at the holidays. Um, I mean, you could buy everything from your yeah, holiday meal. That's right. That's one of our biggest, the holiday meal, we usually do it in October. I think this year 
is going to be our seventh year in a row to have um, a today special value, uh, which is their biggest item of the day. And we're on for 24 hours, um, you know, every every hour or so for 24 hours. And we do a, a ham. Uh, we do a turkey. If they're both smoked. And we also offer sides as well. So that is our most prop, probably our most popular day, single day of the year each year, um, because people get they love a tradition, especially at the holidays, and to be able to serve Corky's ham or smoked turkey and all the sides and everything's done for you, it's just been a huge hit, a runaway hit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great thing, and I have um, I've ordered it yeah. from the. To pick up here at the restaurant yep. before, yep. but I've never done it by shipping. It's so But great. then you could have it all planned and not have to worry about anything right. the week of. That's but I right. will say, but you do pretty offer pretty much similar type things here. That's right. In town in Memphis at the restaurant for right. the holidays. Yeah. So at the holidays we do here at the restaurants, we do a spiral sliced ham that's honey glazed, you know, fire glazed on top. We do a whole turkey. Uh, at QVC, we do all white meat smoked turkey breast, and we do a carving board ham that you slice at home, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. Um, keeps all the juices in there. They're great. But um, so it's the same process, but again, just a little bit different uh, presentation. So yeah. how many products do you offer now on QVC? Oh my gosh. We do everything from, you know, now we're probably on 50 to 75 days a year at QVC. Um, we... I probably have at any given time 20 to 30 different items from ribs to uh, pulled pork, chicken, wings. We do barbecue pizzas. We've got tenderloins. I did a turducken, uh, bacon wrapped turducken a few weeks ago that was, it's amazing. Um, and then the hams and the turkeys and uh, tenderloins. There, there's so many things, chicken tenders, barbecue seasoned chicken tenders, which are Amazing. They're I have so not, good. Is that, is that not has, here in the restaurant, is it? No, 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 no. They're chicken tenders, and we have our barbecue dry rubbed in the in the seasoning, in the batter. And so you just heat it up in your air fryer. It's They're so good. There's nothing else like it. They're really I good. I mean, this might need to be something I stock in That's my right. freezer I know, I know. now that I know about them. You're listening to the Daily Memphian Sound Bites with me, Jennifer Chandler. Today, we're talking with Jimmy Stovall about Corky's Barbecue and QVC. If you're tuning in on WYXR, keep listening for The Sidebar with Eric Barnes and Mia Henley with Creative Aging after this. If you're listening through your podcast app, be sure to subscribe. You can also find other Daily Memphian podcasts, The Sidebar with Eric Barnes about art, culture, and more, Grizzlies Pod with Drew Hill and Chris Harrington, Behind the Headlines Podcast Edition, and On the Record, an occasional political podcast with Daily Memphian legend Bill Drees. Okay, so I have to ask you, Jimmy. Okay. Can you share like how many pounds of pulled pork you sell every year yeah. that you ship out yeah. on QVC? So, um, <laughs> it's if you if you can imagine, they have the biggest audience of any shopping network in the world, and even to reach a small, tiny, tiny portion is an enormous number. Um, I can tell you. I'll give you an example. Um, of ham and turkeys in a single day, I've sold uh, more than 60,000 individual ham and turkeys Wow! in a single day. Um, I've sold, I don't know, 100, 120,000, 140,000 racks of ribs in a single day. Um, so yeah, it, being able to have that reach um, and for the customers to come back time after time we have to ensure that everything is done the authentic way, the same way we've done it since 1984. So that you get the same great flavor, the same experience, whether it's you know in the restaurant or shipped to California and you're heating it up on your in your oven to have at your table. That's interesting. When you're talking about that volume, yep. and having seen the pits <laughs> here yep. on uh, on Poplar Avenue yep. in the restaurant, and knowing how busy this restaurant is That's on right. its own. I'm assuming at one point when this was kind of all kicking off, you were like, ah, we might have to have yes. a different production facility. That I'm is assuming right. there is yeah. one. In fact, the original, our original USDA facility was in this building right here. Oh, really? Where my office is. It's next to the Corky's on Poplar. Um, 
that this was our original USDA facility. It was 900 square feet. Not only did we cook all the ribs and barbecue in here for grocery stores and QVC uh, and shipping, we also shipped out of here. Wow. <laughs> and so we continually have expanded. Um, now we have about 120,000 square feet, uh, but we still, honestly, we still do it the exact same way. We cook it on the same smokers we do have at the restaurant. Um, it's not super efficient, but it really sticks to the authenticity and the old-fashioned way we do barbecue. And I'm assuming there's more than one smoker. We have a lot, a <laughs> lot, a lot of smokers, and they run 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week uh, there just to yeah. keep up. Yes. When people tune into QVC and they see a quirky segment, talk about hands-on. You're running these restaurants here, <laughs> running this production facility. Yeah. Um, do you have, what do they call it, beam me up Scotty? I know. And you, all of a sudden you're in Pennsylvania <laughs> yeah. um, at their headquarters doing a segment because you're, you're, you're the one up there selling your product. That's right. That's right. I go on, I go on uh, QVC and appear you know, multiple, sometimes twice a week. And yes, I fly back and forth to uh, Pennsylvania into their studios in Westchester and I come right back and, uh, but I've done it for so long. People used to ask me, how do you do that? And I said, I, I don't know. It's just what I've always done. I don't know any different. And so I love it. I love what I get to do. I love being able to share not only my story, um, of, st you know, literally starting in the drive through, but share the Corky story because it truly is, it's really something special, not just, uh, for Memphis, but also to share that across the country to people who really will never get the chance to come here and eat uh, or visit Memphis at all. And so for them to be able to understand and know the story behind it and the people behind it is so powerful because when they serve it to their friends and family, they get to share that story. This, these ribs are from this little barbecue joint in Memphis, Tennessee. And, you know, they know me and they, reach out to me on, you know, Facebook and Instagram and we chat and I know a lot, a lot of the customers and it's such, it's such a great way, um, to share that quirky story. Do you have one, if you could narrow it down, I know you have more than one. Mm -hmm. If you could narrow it down, you know, thinking about this being its 40th anniversary, is there something that is just stands out as a really memorable moment of over the past 30 years you've yeah, been involved? Yeah, 30 years. Wow. One, I don't know about one. Um, I, I tend to run for the shiny things and, uh, I love this. I love that I've had the opportunity to work with so many celebrities, um, whether it's at QVC or here at the restaurant or, um, that's always fun. I'm sort of starstruck, but I'm able to kind of play it cool. Um, but one, you know, Jimmy, they're probably saying it's that guy from QVC. <laughs> I'm that's getting right. my picture taken with him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, memorable moments, probably some of the things I've been able to do at Graceland here in Memphis. That is such a huge piece of Memphis history. And um, I've done a lot of really, really fun and great things with that team at Graceland. So I'm very I'm proud of that. And those are those are some unbelievable moments. Yeah. Oh, it's very fortuitous that QVC came to visit during Elvis that's, week. That's true. That's true. It's weird how that worked out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, somebody must have been thinking that's about right. that. I hadn't thought about right. that until you just mentioned it, <laughs> which is very, very cool. One of the things that, you know, when I talk about that, you know, Corky's being more than just the restaurants, yep. it's obviously about all about barbecue, but you've kind of have helped some other Memphis brands along the way. That's right. Um, with um, expanding their reaches yeah. outside of the city of Memphis. That's you want to right. talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So we we have um, we work with a few other um, vendor uh, food companies here in Memphis, uh, St. Clair Foods there at QVC. Um, we worked with them and we took their products to QVC and they do a lot of Southern foods, Southern chicken and dumplings, um, incredible casseroles for the holidays. And they've been at QVC for probably now 20 years. So uh, Lauren Edmonds goes on air for them. That's the daughter of um, Oscar who started it. And it's, you know, a great family business. They And they've been at QVC for a long time. I've worked with um, uh, Jared from Shotwell's Caramel, the best caramel in the world. Oh, <laughs> I've had him. So <laughs> they really are. Um, I've had him at QVC a few times, uh, Judy pound cakes. I don't know if you've ever had those pound cakes. Um, so quite a few people I've taken to QVC because I know I sort of 
understand and know what the customers are looking for when I run across something and I can help someone else succeed, I jump right in. And do you remember from way back when, when you guys first got the invitation on QVC, how did that happen? So in 1995, um, <laughs> That sounds like I'm about to tell it, read a book, but in 95, <laughs> they did, in last century, um, <laughs> they did um, a, like a 50 and 50 tour where they went around 50 states and they were looking for regional cuisines. And that's where they actually discovered us. Um, even though they didn't reach back out to us for a couple of years, that is where they found us. And we were well known and, um, you know, a lot of tourism and, and things like that. And so they reached out to us and asked if we, you know, were interested. And, and that is kind of how it all started. And Barry Peltz at the time asked me if I would go and, you know, of course, get on a plane, you know, and go somewhere else besides the restaurant for a day. That would be great. And I just really, I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with um, like I said, the immediate gratification or the, or the failure, because you have, you have times that it totally bombs, uh, which is a, you know, that's a tough thing to have, but, but being able to create items for customers and know what they're looking for and, and get their feedback in real time. It's just, it's made it, this just made it an incredible ride. That's, that's just such a great story. Yeah. It just makes me so happy because yeah. I've been eating Corky's Barbecue well, since you. I was a little girl <laughs> myself. We won't go back how many years, but I may have been eating it since it started. And I have so many fond memories yeah. at this restaurant here. East Memphis is the one I always dined right. at. And um, it was my grandmother's favorite restaurant. And I have was so it? many... Yep. So many fond memories from there. And that's what I love. I mean, I want every day, I want all of, you know, I have about 300 people that I get to work with um, every day. And my goal is for everybody here to create stories and memories for our customers. And it doesn't matter if it's our shipping business or the restaurants or QVC or manufacturing. It, it in the end it ends up being on someone's table and i want them to have that story that they remember that memory just like you said that to me is uh is the number one thing about corkies is i don't care where i am and someone hears i'm from memphis or they've heard of corkies or whatever they instantly go oh i've been there or i had this or uh, that we used to get that shipped to us and it's the story. People say, what's your favorite thing about Corky's? And I say, it's the stories. It's the stories. The stories. Yeah. That's a great thing. Now, can I ask a question that yeah. um, you're probably going to hate me for asking? No. Uh -huh. It's not which is your favorite child, but it's close. What's your go-to order next door? Gosh. Well, I love barbecue bologna, and I will admit it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I love our barbecue bologna sandwiches. But really, I probably get the brisket. I actually had the brisket yesterday. Um, which we have incredible brisket, uh, but Memphis is a pork town. And so, you know, we don't sell a ton of it, but I love it. Um, what else do I get? I love the sausage and cheese plate. Oh, the tamales, tamale and chili. There's so many local favorites at Corky's. Well, I really, and I'm not just saying that. There really are. And that onion loaf. The onion loaf. Is iconic. Yeah. Our catfish. Well, I was going to oh tell you, gosh. that's a sleeper. It is. If anybody listening, if you've not had the catfish at Corky's Barbecue, you it are missing out. Yep. It yep. is so flavorful and crispy. The batter. Yeah. It's it's a really good. There's a there's a whole story behind the catfish when we created it. Um, I got to create that. And I'm not patting myself on the back, but I did. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It was years ago. And we did it at when I was at Collierville. We did it at one store and we only did it one day a week. And it became so popular. And I'm telling you, we were packed every Wednesday for Catfish Day that eventually we moved it to Cordova store on Wednesday. And it was so popular there that we put it on the menu every day at all the stores. Yeah. So is it going to show up on QVC one of these days? Can, I know. You, can you ship fries? Hey, it's been, hey, it's been asked for. <laughs> if we could find a way to do it, then yes. But uh, right now, you know, we do all the uh, fish. We fry it right on right when someone orders it. So um, you can't beat that. That is true. That yeah. is true. Well, I hate that we are going to have to come to an okay. end here because this has been such a great conversation and learning more about Corky's and its 40th anniversary yeah. and the fact that QVC came to town to visit. That's right. That's Very so exciting. cool. Um, I want to thank you for being on here with us, Jimmy. Thank you this so has much. Been great. I had a great time. You can tune in on WYXR Radio every Thursday at 11 
or listen wherever you get your podcast, iTunes or Spotify, or listen at dailymemphian.com.